I'm Lieutenant Colonel Julian Perez, DL Energy America's East Commander. Maintaining our high quality standards of capitalized jet fuel throughout the transportation process is essential to providing our warfighters the product they depend on, safeguarding our personnel, property, and the environment. Today, my team is going to provide the inspection process for the petroleum tanker vehicles before the fuel is loaded at DLA Energy's contracted operated facilities. Your role is critical to mission success. Let's get started. When preparing fuel tankers or bulk fuel systems for loading at a DLA Energy facility, use the DLA Tanker Inspection Checklist as your primary guide along with the appropriate references listed on the tanker checklist. Confirm you have the proper manual by the title on the front cover of the TM as well as at the top of each subsequent page. Wear appropriate personal protection equipment when operating fuel systems every time. There is always the potential for residual fuel splashing and spilling. Ensure that the wheels of the tanker system are chocked to prevent accidental movement or rolling of the vehicle. Then, ensure that the tanker is grounded properly to an authorized grounding point or grounding rod that is sufficiently pounded into the earth. We will be covering three types of tankers, the M967 and M969 5,000 gallon tankers and the M1062 7,500 gallon tanker. Okay, we are now ready to begin. Let's cover step one, general maintenance, general condition of the vehicle and the tanker technical manual. We define a system as the prime mover or tractor and the tanker or trailer. Start at the front exterior of the system. Inspect headlights for serviceability. Inspect front left and right turn signals and emergency flashers. Moving down the driver's side and continuing all the way around the system, Inspect all side trailer running lights and tires for serviceability. Next, let's look at the bottom loading fitting. Check the six inch commercial dry brake valve. It needs to be permanently affixed. No adapters are allowed. Check the operation of all product manifold and sump valves, ensuring they fully close and open. Make sure they are not frozen open or closed and visually appear to seat when closed. Take note, the 7.5K TT sump valve lever should not have diaper type keeper pins. The valve should be bolted shut with a removable nut. With general maintenance checked out, we are going to move to the important safety precautions you need to have in place. First, check grounding cables are not frayed and appear to be in working order. Check to ensure grounding cables will fully extend and retract. Check grounding clamps are correct and are in working order. Serviceable alligator type clamps are acceptable per APC and DLA energy. Second, each system trailer should contain two 20 BC fire extinguishers on hand. Inspect that they are fully charged, sealed, and in good working order. Inspection labels should contain an inspection date. Be aware that the minimum acceptable fire extinguisher is 20 BC which equals 10 pounds dry chemical. CO2 extinguishers should not be used. Third, the emergency shutoff latch should be red in color or a contrasting color against the system background color and clearly labeled. By pulling the emergency latch to actuate, the tanker A emergency valve and emergency valve vent should fully open. The latch should reset snugly back in place by reopening the A valve. Note, adjust the cable as necessary if the emergency control handle will not reset properly. Fourth, ensure flammable and no smoking markings are clearly stenciled on three sides of the trailer. Also, ensure the system has placards on each side and each end with a proper four-digit UN identification number. Now, the cargo compartment's readiness is ultimately the key to preserving the fuel that's going to be loaded in the system. Let's review the steps to ensure fuel quality is maintained. Step one, how is the cargo compartment cleaned? 
If the system was recently in service, carrying jet fuel, drain the system as dry as possible. Ensure that the tanker is parked on a level surface to allow for any remaining fuel or water evacuation through the manifold and sump. Note, recent service includes previous Culex, another exercise within the last six months, or currently in service carrying jet fuel. If the system meets this condition, loading documents from the last load needs to be reviewed prior to loading at a DLA energy bulk fuel facility. If cleaning was required for storage, ensure the system was cleaned using the approved cleaning methods. Note, if cleaning or conversion was required, DLA Energy will require cleaning documentation detailing how the system was cleaned. The methods include drain dry, steam cleaned, flushed or purged with CitraClean. If purged with CitraClean, ensure all residue is thoroughly flushed from the internal tank and all manifolds. Step two, make sure all lines and filter vessels are drained and dry. Drain the tank compartment and manifold without leaving any residue. Drain any fuels from previous Culex or other operations prior to DLA energy bulk facility inspections and or prior to Q-Day inspections. The filter separator must be drained dry. Also, ensure the filter separator is stenciled with a filter change date and has the required seals on the cover plate top two and bottom two bolts. Check the fuel tank for cracks and signs of damage. The tank's integrity cannot be compromised. Check the hoses and hose reels. To perform this check, fully extend the hoses. Walk the length of each hose, checking for dry rot, cracks, leaks, and any obvious damage. Also, make sure each hose has proper dust caps and plugs. Note, this is a visual dry inspection of the system. The system's entire manifold should be monitored closely and inspected for leaks during the initial fill splash test at the bulk fuel facility. Any fuel leak is a deadline deficiency. Make sure to check the connections between the hose and the coupling for signs of slippage. Slippage occurs when the hose starts to work itself out of the coupling and is most evident when the discolored portion of the hose becomes more pronounced. Check fuel adapters, ensuring that no parts are missing, such as locking latches, caps, and plugs. Step three, check manhole cover gaskets for serviceability. Inspect the manhole cover for damage. Open the manhole cover slowly to relieve pressure. There should be an audible hiss, which denotes that the manhole cover has a good seal. Part of this check is ensuring that the manhole cover is mounted correctly with forward mounting hinges and latches. If left open, the cover will automatically close and latch with forward motion of the vehicle. Step four, check internal compartment for rust, scale, dirt, and make sure it is clean, dry, and suitable to load product. As stated already, if the last product carried mandates cleaning or last product is unknown, cleaning will be conducted per documentation. In case of dispute, at the bulk fuel facility, the latest edition of the tanker truck conversion table applies. Step five, check the emergency valve vent is operating properly. Open the A emergency valve. The emergency valve vent located on top near the manhole should open and close with the opening and closing of the A emergency valve. Step six, drain trailer pump dry. Drain the system pump dry into a vessel large enough to contain the housing contents by removing the bottom drain plug. Ensure the drain plug is replaced after all of the product is drained from the system's pump housing. Inspect all pump system wiring to ensure the wiring is properly insulated. Also, ensure the batteries are covered. Step seven, inspect sump drain to ensure it's dry. Inspect the sump drain to ensure it is drained completely and free of all water or remaining fuel. After successful completion of the bulk fuel system inspection process, you are now ready for DLA Energy's preloading or quality day inspection. All the steps are necessary and required to ensure our ultimate customer, the warfighter, can depend on their equipment at the highest level.
Thank you for your time. Warfighter first.